Hi, my dear friends. Welcome all to Easy Work to English Grammar, and today we are introducing tenses. brief history of tense and tense is a word which came from the word tempus and tempus is a latin word that refers to time from this we can understand that when we want to speak something with a reference to time actually we are creating a sentence using tenses dear friends i hope you understood as we all know tense has three major classifications the present tense the past tense and the future tense in order to understand these three tenses in simpler terms we can go for a definition like this present tense refers to actions that happen in a time that we can call now we all know the meaning of the word now so any action that happens at this particular now will come under the category present tense some actions can happen sometimes before this particular now but if that action has a relevance has an importance during this particular now we can add such an action also under the category present tense now what is past tense past tense refers to actions that happen before this now before sometimes before this now such actions come under the category past tense and what is future tense then future tense refers to actions that happen after this now see my dear friends if you compare things like this if you try to learn things by comparing these three tenses together things will become much more easier for you and if you feel this a simpler explanation and you can follow tenses very easily in that case please don't forget to subscribe to our channel easy work to english grammar if you are watching the channel for the first time and please don't forget to give the video a like also now once again we are moving on to the most familiar aspect about tenses the classification of tenses as this is an uh, this is a video uh, which introduces tenses we cannot avoid that step and we can move on as you know present tense is divided into four present simple present continuous present perfect and present perfect continuous and the second is uh, past tense and the divisions are the same uh, there also past simple past continuous past perfect past perfect continuous likewise future tense is also classified into four future simple future continuous future perfect future perfect continuous there are 12 divisions as you know the three tenses are then subdivided into 12 uh, 12 mode subdivisions we need to know the names of all those things most of us are familiar with the terms and in our coming videos we will be going for them in detail now we are moving on to another aspect which is not that common but we should know that we ought to know that dears now we can move on to something new in learning tenses as we all know simple tenses are divided into three the present the past and the future and we all know that these three tense forms simple tense forms refer to time the time can refer to action that continues action that is completed and action that is going to happen in the future dear friends 
Do you think what is new in this? I'll tell you, something is new when we go for the next thing. When we come to perfect and continuous tenses, under this category, perfect continuous tenses will also come. What's going on with these tense forms? These tense forms, as we know, they are also divided into present, past, and future, but they refer to aspect, not time. Then, what is this aspect? Aspect is divided into two, that is progressive and perfective. Progressive refers to uncompleted action, means action is going on, progressing. And perfective refers to actions that are completed or a completed state, a completed action or a completed state. Then, what, is, or what do all these things tell us? Here, you can see three examples. He sits, he sat, he will sit. We know that we wrote the first sentence in simple present tense, the second in simple past tense, and the third in uh, simple future. In these three sentences, a clear reference to time is there an action happening at the present at the moment or at present and an action that happened in the past and an action that will happen in the future all these refer to time then what's happening in other perfect tenses and perfect continuous tenses let's see not only perfect tenses and perfect continuous tenses come under this category, also continuous tenses come under this category. And now we can check some more examples like this. He has sat, he had sat, and he will have sat. We know that we have constructed the first sentence in present perfect, the second in past perfect, and the third in uh, future perfect tense. In case of the Present perfect tense, he has said, we know that we get an idea that the action is completed because it is in the perfective state, but we are not sure if the action is really completed or not, if it is still going on or not. The speaker intends to tell uh, or intends to make the listener feel that the action is completed. And the listener feels it like that. The action is completed. But none of the speaker or the listener is clear about the fact if the action has ended up or not. Means it lacks a reference to time. It just gives us an aspect, an idea of a perfection, a perfective aspect, idea of a perfective aspect. Of course, you may be a bit confused. These things will become clearer when we go into the details of tense. So, please don't miss to watch the upcoming videos related to tense in our channel, Easy Walk to English Grammar. Once again, if you are a newcomer to the channel, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, if you want to know more about the tenses, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and please tap on the small bell icon near the subscription button and select the option all in order to get my new notifications. And at the same time, please don't forget to give the video a like. Now we can move on to an exercise section based on the video. And here you have to find out the verbs which have an indication of time within them, verbs which are perfective in their nature, and verbs which are progressive in nature from the following 10 sentences. After doing this exercise, this, uh, this exercise you will be able to understand the thing or the matter that we discussed in the video. Certainly we will be discussing the answer in our next video.
and if you are a newcomer to our channel please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and tap on the small bell icon near it select option all please in order to receive the notification of my future videos and dear friends if you like this video and if you find it beneficial please don't forget to give a thumbs up to the video we'll soon meet in another video of course with a continuation of tenses until then take care bye for now